Hi, welcome to Woodport Guitars. Thanks for stopping by. I'm continuing the Camacho build, a three string cigar box guitar using this Camacho box and a hardtail bridge. Today, I'm talking nuts. Nope, not that kind. Not those either. And no, not that guy. I am choosing to use a slotted nut instead of a zero fret on this guitar. With an angled headstock and a slotted nut, there will be no need for a string tree or a string retainer or any kind of string guide. The nut will do that job. It will also set the string height at the headstock end of the neck. So it doesn't matter how good your fret slot layout is, and it doesn't matter how good your fret job is. If the nut is not right, it's not gonna sound good. If the nut is not positioned properly, or the string break angle point is in the wrong spot, or the string slots are not deep enough or too deep, the guitar will sound like crap. I don't have any bone in the shop, and besides a metal like brass, aluminum, or steel, the hardest thing I have in the shop in most dense wood is this Maranti wood. So I use the bandsaw to get the shape and size close, then to the sander. Some test fits and good. Now on a three string guitar I usually cut one slot in the middle and the other two a quarter inch from the edge of the fretboard. Well this is using a one piece bridge that has a 10 millimeter string spacing. So I'm going to stick with that. One slot in the center, one 10 millimeters on either side. You can see the slope on the top of this nut. The bottom of the slot is angled the same way, just not as much of an angle. That is to ensure the side of the nut that faces the fretboard is the last point the string touches. So how deep to cut the slots? String action is the distance between the top of the fret and the bottom of the string. Most places I found only give a measurement for the 12th fret location. The action at this point is determined just as much by the bridge, if not more. The only measurement I came across for the first fret location is 24 thousandths of an inch, or 0.61 millimeters. And that's on the low E of a regular six string electric guitar. But hey, that gives us somewhere to start. But let's take a look at this. The height of these medium frets is 43 thousandths of an inch or 1.09 millimeters. The height of a jumbo fret I use as a zero fret is 57 thousandths or 1.45 millimeter. That would give us a distance of 14 thousandths or 0.36 millimeters between the fret and the bottom of the low E string. That's a little shy of the 24 thousandths that is suggested for the low E string, but it works. And that could be partly due to a higher string action at the bridge. I, I want to mark where the fretboard is on the nut and measure up. I don't know, 65 thousandths, a uh, millimeter and a half, two millimeters. I want to play it safe. And the jumbo fret is 57 thousandths. I just add a bit more. And it's easier to make the slot deeper if needed. It is a lot harder to undeepen it. All right, and the slot width is determined by the gauge of strings you will be using. This guitar will have EBE tuning and use a 0 0.046 for the low E, 0 0.036 for the B string, and a 0 0.026 for the high E string. I'm going to cut the initial slots with my fret slotting saw. It has a kerf of 20 thousandths, so I will still need to widen the slots with the files. I'm using some needle files I already have. Now there are special made nut slot cutting files with different precise thicknesses to match the different string gauges. And if I end up doing more nuts, I will have to get a set. And as I said before, the slot bottom is sloped down toward the headstock and the backs of the slots are flared out just a bit to help prevent binding, especially on this middle B string since it will be angled to the tuner. I knock off any sharp edges with some sandpaper and I'm mounting this with just a touch of CA glue. Now that the nut is ready, we can turn our attention to the bridge. 
In the next video, there's a lot of info to cover with the one-piece bridge placement and intonation of floating bridges and one-piece bridges. So thanks for hanging out in the shop and making guitars. I really appreciate the views, the likes, the subscribes, and the comments. So until next time, have fun.